starting in three, two, one. The laboratory Ian Burkhart sat in was crowded and small, but what he did there was enormous. It's cool. It's good. What do you think? In a breathtaking demonstration, the 23-year-old became the first patient ever to move a paralyzed hand by using his own thoughts. At times, his doctors struggled to find words to put this moment into context. Where we are now, to me, is still staggering in, in its implications. But for Ian, all of this is really all about the simplicities of life. Picking up a cup of water and drinking it, or brushing your teeth, or feeding yourself, you know, those things, if you can do those on your own, makes a big difference in your life. To get to this point took teamwork from dozens of experts and a groundbreaking surgery just over two months ago. It was then that neurosurgeon Ali Rezai of the Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center implanted a tiny chip in Ian's brain. The surgery was an important part in terms of being able to precisely put this microchip in the area that controls the arm and the hand movements. The team at Ohio State worked with engineers from Battelle who developed software and algorithms as well as this high-tech sleeve. Known as NeuroBridge technology, the system reads Ian's thoughts, processes them, and in less than a tenth of a second sends signals to his hand to move. It's much like a heart bypass, but instead of bypassing blood, we're actually bypassing electrical signals. Uh, we're taking those signals from the brain, going around the injury, and actually going directly to the muscles. Other technologies have used robotics or computers to move muscles, but this is the first to use a patient's mind. And if you ask Ian's dad, they couldn't have found a mind more suited for the challenge. You know, God chooses people for different uh, roles here, and he certainly chose the right person with Ian because he's a very, very strong, well-dedicated young man. Couldn't be more proud of him. At Ohio State's Wexner Medical Center, this is Clark Powell reporting.